channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today I joined you with a very unique and extremely interesting topic known as Bremsstrahlung radiation. The term Bremsstrahlung is derived from the German word Bremsen to break and Strahlung is radiation, also called breaking radiation or declaration radiation. Brems radiation is a type of electromagnetic radiation emitted when a charged particles upon getting deflected by another charged particle is declarated. These charged particles are mainly electrons or atomic nuclei. The particles in motion upon clashing lose kinetic energy. The lost energy is emitted as radiation in the form of photons. Thus the law of conservation of energy is also satisfied. This is known as Bremsstrahlung radiation. The Bremsstrahlung radiation has a continuous spectrum. The peak intensity tends to shift towards higher frequency with the increase in the energy of declarated charge article. Let's recreate a historical movement by similar virtual lab to elaborate more about Brems. In 1895, Wilhelm Röntgen discovered that the beam of cathode rays could create a new type of radiation, X-rays, when allowed to impinge up on an obstacle such as a glass of the tube itself. The present demonstration recreates that discovery. A Meltys cross CRT is the source of cathode rays as well as target. A modern Geiger Muller counter detects the X-rays. The Bremsstrahlung X-rays are emitted when electrons get declarated when fired against a metal target. These charged particles emit Bremsstrahlung radiation in the form of photons or Bremsstrahlung's X-rays. The continuous spectrum formed due to bombardment of electron lies in the X-ray region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Let's talk about the difference between Bremsstrahlung and characteristic radiation. The two unique mechanisms of which X-rays are produced are called Bremsstrahlung and characteristics processes. Brems X-rays produce a continuous X-ray spectrum, whereas characteristics X-rays are produced as specific narrow bands of energies. In terms of astronomy, one of the most interesting examples of Bremsstrahlung radiation in the universe is that coming from the hot intracluster gas of galaxy clusters. The gas has X-rays luminosities of to 10 to the power 38 watt, roughly 10 billions to 1 trillion times the luminosity of the sun, and temperatures on the order of 10 million Kelvin. X-ray telescopes can detect this radiation as diffuse light, as seen in the image of the cluster. Bremsstrahlung is one of the process by which cosmic rays dissipate some of their energy in the earth atmosphere. So thank you very much for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.